So to draw this chair, take all your class notes from the last few days of drawing in class and this video to help you out. So we had to build a chair that meets or exceeds its requirements. It has an 18 inch by 18 inch seat, six inches thick, four chair legs, a slant to the seat, and a back of the knee saving zone, and a curved backrest, and some paint. Let's build that. Here's an example of a finished one. 18 by 18 seat, six inch cushion, curved backrest, a slant to the seat and a knee saving zone. So let's build one again. I go delete. So first I begin with the rectangle tool. So I'm going to click and move the mouse and build a rectangle. And I'm going to have this rectangle be um, 18 comma 18 enter. There it is. Um, my chair is sideways. Pass again. Delete. Orbit. A little more of a above the looking down. Scan the lines. Green is y axis. Red is x axis. Blue is z axis. Okay, now we got. Here we go. Try it again. Draw on the floor. 18, comma, 18. Enter. There's my seat. 18 by 18. It looks rectangle, but it is square. Six inches thick. Push pull tool. I'm going to click and move and type in six. Hit enter. I typed in six and it gave my chair. There it is. Uh, the legs come in the bottom of the chair. It's under here somewhere. I'm going to draw a rectangle from the corner. I'm going to draw on the surface. Three, comma, three, enter. The next one I should say on surface. Three, comma three. Same thing here. Three, comma three. And the last one, same thing. Three by three. They want 18 inch tall legs. Push pull. Click move. 18 enter. Click move. 18 enter. It's all four of those. Click and move. 18, 18, 18, and 18. So now we have all four chair legs drawn. They're going to gentle back slope to their seat. The chair you're on here in class does slant backwards, making it comfortable. This one too. How do you draw that? It's going to pick a random point from the front edge. Click. I'm going to go down a little bit and click. There's my slant. Push pull tool. I'm going to push this zone all the way off. So it disappears. The knee saving zone. This sharp edge is going to cut open the back of your knee. Very painful, I bet. So to save your knee, again, a random line. Just kind of draw a corner off and orbit a bit so you can see the whole edge. I'm going to push this surface all the way till it's gone. Knee saving zone is now done. Okay? They want a two inch wide backrest back here. So I'm going to click and move. It's got to be on the surface. I'm going to go 18, comma, 2. Curve back. I use the arc tool. I'm using the two-point arc. Two-point arc. I pick one point in a little ways. It's a random point. Click. Pick the other points over here in a little ways. Pick. Then I bring my mouse inward. The line must be blue or pink. It must say on surface on the face surface and I give yep, not too far it's a slight gentle back nope you gotta be on that purple line there it is click then I erase off my little curve I push pull how far 18 inches so here's my chair it's ready to go now to paint it I'm just gonna use the paint bucket tool which is here any of the paints you want, any category, up to up to you. Maybe a nice 3D printing. How about this blue one? That's nice. So paint the whole chair. Give it a paint scheme that works. I can make the curve back be a different color. 
little accent piece, paint the whole chair. Then when you're done, it says you want to add a screenshot of each of the views shown below. I need a left side view, a right side view, view from above, view from below. Um, this will be shown to you in class. But for now, let's get that chair figured out, get the chair finished and wrapped up. Hey, good luck.